Hello Collective, this is Ross the Girl, aka Angelic Empress. Welcome you to my channel. Just want to go over some downloads and dreams that I currently had and um, I want to get right into the message. Just thank everybody for tapping in. Grab your whatever you're drinking or snacks or just when you have the time, tap in, tap in. Collective, I don't know about you. I'm getting into my channeling and my dreams and downloads. But my dreams, my gosh. Comment down below if you're having bizarre dreams. Just say bizarre dreams. <laughs> Comment whatever you want down below. It is it's crazy out here in these spiritual streets, man. As you can see, my title here in regards to just what you may be feeling, what may be happening. This could be the titles of the energies that's, you know, um, trying to just be a nuisance in your energy or a feel. Okay. So we got to stay up on our cleansing. I know I'm going to do that for sure. Um, and just consistently, we all just stay spiritually um, hygiene and stay up on our maintenance on transmuting these energies they're just a nuisance <clears throat> I kept hearing uh, this song all this week uh huh and um, it's pretty much from my gal Riri are y'all having a lot of, um, this is a question, are y'all having a lot of celebrities <laughs> just coming into your dreams? Like, that's what's been occurring with me lately. Um, this is not the first time this celebrity been in my dream. I've mentioned it before in one of my videos, both of them, but this would be the second time I was seeing his face. Um, his name starts with a, a J and ends with a, a Z or J C. And I was just like, as you can see on the cover of my title, I was like, what in the world is this energy, this dude doing in my, my dreams? It got kind of erotic collective. <laughs> I'm not going to go into it. But um, it was definitely, I felt, if it wasn't specifically their energy, because I don't know who's watching my channel. It could be celebrities watching my channel. Okay. And I'm picking up on their energies. This also could be of, as you can see, incubus and succubus energies of projections that I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. These trickster spirits these skin shifting spirits collective uh-huh and it's of course all of illusions all of this spiritual matrix wicked energies you know what i mean they pretty much are just any up <laughs> they're any up in up in here and um I just heard, come get that fool, Annie up. I don't know if that's how it goes. <laughs> my ancestors are Annie up in, my gosh, on these incubus and succubus energy. That's what I felt, though. So they appeared as the person you see on my screen. Okay. And again, it was of a and Cabis energy. Um, it was disgusting. <laughs> I felt they were trying to harvest from me, of course. But I wasn't succumbing to that energy. So they was really trying to ante up their amp. And I had to, in my energy and dream, pretty much cut the energetic cords or energetic um, projections that was thrown at me I had to literally 
get up in the middle of my dreams that they disturbed to claim back my energy and power and that's what you have to do okay when you are hip to the shenanigans when you're hip to the game on these spiritual streets when you're hip to what they're trying to do collective whatever these energies and projections or whoever sending it trying to stifle or do as in the song that I heard um, and this fits my dream perfectly excuse me this was a disturbed energy or energies the song for Rihanna is called Disturbia and I just kept hearing throughout my week okay um, I kept hearing but be altered so if you must falter be wise that's the part I heard and I just heard, I just kept hearing hmm I heard she was saying it's disturbia uh-huh it's like a darkness is the light of disturbia that's what I kept hearing so this is an energy that is just disturbed or an energy or projections incubus succubus energy whatever you see on my title there they're disturbing they want to disturb my peace and energy and my dreams and my sanity they just want to disturb me and I don't know if this is how you fell in I usually um, share again my dreams and my downloads and just certain things about myself collective for you to to relate as well as um, to be educated to be warned to be guided okay and also for you to sympathize for you to just understand okay we're all on this spiritual battle warfare path that we're individually fighting mm -hmm. to conquer fighting to um, to continuously be victorious you know what I mean of our own self whether it's our own shadow work or if it's from projections and just from the matrix of this world okay that we're constantly fighting but I just kept hearing that song. It's Disturbia. So it's a Disturbia energy or a projection um, being sent to me to disturb my peace. Pretty much. Okay. And I'll have that song because it's so deep. And it is disturbing. Um, the lyrics here. I never like really looked at her lyrics it's just when I heard the song it did give like a daunting type of energy so this is a daunting energy I was feeling mm-hmm it says here it's a thief in the night to come and grab you it can creep up inside you and consume you a disease of the mind it can control you it's too close to comfort. It's too close for comfort. Huh. Throw on your pretty lies. We're in the city of wonder. Ain't going to play nice. Watch out. You must just go under. Better think twice. Your train of thought will be altered. So if you must. Yeah, that's what I kept hearing. So if you must falter, be wise. You've got to be wise out here in these spiritual streets. God damn. Collective. <clears throat> we got to continue to be wise and strong. Even in a 5D. Let alone a 3D. Okay. It says your mind. Your mind and disturbia. It's like a darkness and a light disturbia. Am I scaring you tonight? Your mind and disturbia. Ain't used to what you like. Disturbia, disturbia. 
I'm telling you, collective. <laughs> it's Disturbia. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go ahead and do some cards. It's crazy that this pal that I'm about to use, which is my towel like it is, literally has a... Um, I usually cleanse my cards with um, trinkets and crystals and stones and a trinket that I have on here is of a horse isn't that crazy whoa <clears throat> and a horse of course that couple they launch something in regards to liquor and what do you know they're uh, their picture on their liquor is of a horse isn't that crazy? I felt led to do this deck with this tranklet on here. And on the top of my card, it literally says, don't drink the poison. Whoa, collective. I'm pulling from the top of my towel like it is deck. It's showing, of course, don't drink the poison. It's in colors of red and blue, so of the matrix. Uh-huh. At the top I'm pulling it says here, see beyond the veil. Exactly. If you must falter, be wise. I'm not faltering I'm in this bitch. I'm not faltering. <laughs> Whoa, I'm gonna continue fighting and be strong. And I'm encouraging you to collective. It says here, see beyond the veil in between the sheets. In between the sheets. Da -da -da -da. This is, um, <laughs> whoa, this is kind of resembling my dreams. So it's showing a bed here. If you remember what my deck looked like, it's showing a flashlight being shined on the bed with a veil floating in the air and lights being shined on the bed. It also shows little red stains on there, so I don't know if someone was probably trying to do, or um, industry sacrifices, blood sacrifices, because it's literally showing here the next card, which is my third one, it says Red Rum Run, and that's in regards to that movie, here's Johnny, that movie. <laughs> I think that was St Stephen King's movies. Uh-huh. How crazy that movie was, if y'all remember or recall. He went very insane because the hotel was haunted. And it pretty much got to him. He was very disturbed. Exactly. And he turned on his family, trying to harm his family. So... My fourth card is Sean Vamps. That's what it was. These were vamps. Uh-huh. Fallen angels. Exactly. Incubus and succubus energies. These were falling um, energies that I felt. Fallen angels. And vamps. Exactly. Whoa. Thank you. On top of everything that I pulled, I pulled um, five cards. To me, that's saying change is occurring. It's going to happen. Okay. Um, it says angels are watching over you, and I know they're watching over me. I love that. That came, that was the sixth card under the fallen angels. That, then this one. <clears throat> it's showing angels watching over you with a halo. Whoa. When I saw that, I just heard her song, BC, his wife. I just heard, can I hear a halo? I just heard that. Halo. So I don't know, collective. The energies I'm feeling, yeah, they're cursed. They're cursed priests and priestess. Medusa energies, exactly. Mm-hmm. 
they're both fallen angels. It says here, don't compete where you don't compare. They're both incubus and succubus energies. If those celebrities were in my dreams and in my energy, yeah, they're succubus and incubus energies for sure. They don't compete where they don't compare. These curse Medusas, priest and priestess. Mm -hmm. Broken records. They are spiritual haters. And if it wasn't their energy again, it was of other energies projecting, trying to harvest from me. Mm -hmm. All around the world, same song. These are spiritual haters. Whoa, it literally says demonic energies. They were demons. They are demons. Whoa, and you know what's going to happen to these energies if it was celebrities that keeps tapping into my energy, let alone just wicked disturbia energies that are not celebrities. That's projecting. Okay, y'all demonic. Whoever and whatever is doing this or projections being sent my way. I'm talking to energies that are not for my highest good. I'm talking to energies that know who they are that are projecting. Whether they're friend, fam, foes, hoes, whatever. Okay? I'm, I'm addressing y'all. I'm putting y'all on the spot. I am pulling a rug from under your feet. I am throwing y'all under the bus. Y'all going to face purgatory. This is the, the, the card that came after the demonic card I have that's showing demons with the chains around the D and the E. My gosh. My gosh. They're going to face purgatory. Yes. Ah. Pregatory after that came out, it said pressed and thirsty. My gosh, collective. They are pressed and thirsty. Exactly. They were harvesting pressed and thirsty. Trying to harvest because they are pressed and thirsty to fill up their incubus and succubus. Nasty, demonic, wicked, dutty ass body. My gosh, so nasty. Yeah, these are energies that are... <laughs> Whoa, collective. These are energies that were squirrels trying to get a nut, pretty much. Pretty much. I don't know why it's showing Netflix, because I wasn't watching anything. Okay. Or these are energies that are trying to um, throw love spells and thought it was going to work. They throw love spells to um, make me or maybe you collective warm up to wanting to date their dunty, wicked, nasty, thirsty, trashy, incubus and succubus, fallen angel, demonic, press and thirsty ass. I don't think so. For a date, they want a, they want to do a Netflix and chill. I don't think so. Yes. Oh my gosh, collected. It's literally showing here. I'm spilling. <laughs> I'm spilling the tea. Exactly. Confirmation. I'm going to take a shower after this. I swear to you, collective. Dutty, nasty energy. Yes, I'm spilling the tea. And my goons is coming after their ass. It says to my goons. Off with their heads. Disturb energies. They don't have nothing else to do. They drunk the poison. Okay. They're cursed priest and priestess. Trying to persuade you with their puss of persuasion or demonic D, okay, that wants to vamp you, my gosh, mm, mm, mm. in between the sheets, I don't think so, it literally says off with their heads, to my goons, yes, ancestors, off with their mother 
effing heads. I am spelling a T. Yeah, they were well in souls. This could be of a false a karmic masculine or of a feminine that was in my energy because it's saying twin flames uh-huh welling souls they are welling souls yes they are out of time they're out of touch and out of time that's what it says here my gosh they're going to be welling souls in purgatory now that I, I'm you know revealing it I'm calling it out I'm exposing these energies not in love no no I'm not these energies don't deserve my love your love collective these are they have completely lost it they're disturbed they're soulless energies there's some souls you can't save you all you only can save your soul okay and you can just give that energy send that energy back to wherever and whatever it came from send it back to purgatory and and hopefully they have mercy from the god from the universe above but at this time no 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 <laughs> i am i'm calling it out as this is a straight shot of energy no mercy no no love no it's literally showing my vengeance angels after I pulled out from they are out of time. My vengeance angels is on their ass. And I'm going I'm to really hit this bell if I see my ancestors come out next. Vengeance angels. Yes, they are going to be cutting, like I told you, in between my dreams. I literally had to claim and call back my energy and power. And, you know, pray to my, my ancestors and archangels to kick their ass out of my energy i literally felt like it was also like witches or voodoo thrown my way because i kind of saw as you see on my screen this hooded creature i kind of saw a black and white image and it looked like a female she was smiling so yeah witches of course of course but my vengeance angels and off with their heads with my goons is going to be on their ass uh-huh yeah no no call you probably have this energy on block collective keep it on block whoa so you see my title here it says illusionist incubus succubus trickster skin shifting or shifter spirits okay that's exactly what they are. It literally says in metal that it's backfiring. And I pulled out my card after my Vengeance Angels came out. And you don't have to call. Backfiring came out. So yeah, it is backfiring at this time. Off with their heads. Exactly. Wow, they're going down a rabbit hole. They're actually going to be going down deeper than a rabbit hole since they want to play some tricks trick energies tricks thing games and that's the tricks are for kids so yeah these rabbits silly tricks they're thirsty press ass rabbits that's humping and thumping everywhere on the 3d and spiritual streets incubus succubus energies are going back to purgatory purgatory where they belong my gosh it literally is showing the rabbit going down the hole. Ah, yes. Keep these energies again at bay. Keep them, <laughs> keep them on red. Keep them blocked. Do not succumb to the energies in a 5D. It's like you got to gear up and have on your spiritual motherfucking armor when you go into bed. Especially when you're awoke. On these spiritual streets, especially when you are just aware. Okay, it literally is showing keep your keep. It's showing the phone and a stop sign. It's saying keep on red. So you keep them on red, collective. My gosh, and it's showing blue and red again. So the matrix. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. 
Yeah, who the cat fit, let them wear it. Yes, Rasta gal, Rasta man vibes, exactly. They keep doing this stuff, whoever's projecting, okay, to also, it, it doesn't matter, it could be of high or low status. Whoever's projecting, yeah, they're going to wear it. Who the cat fits, let them wear it. I explained that analogy many times in my video. <clears throat> But I'm protected. I know I'm protected. And I'm going to continue to have my spiritual armor on. And I'm going to continue fighting. And stay strong. It says here. Um, it showed a lantern of a pumpkin. Jack-o-lanterns. And it's saying. This is a sign that you are open and willing to accept new experiences. Transformation desires will come true. You're on the right path or in the right movement or moment to accomplish something meaningful and that's why they're in my energy because i'm on the right path this can be coming from uh the, the roots is showing here a house with thorns and roses so this could be coming from external uh, parental figures or just ex family that is projecting Mm-hmm. Projecting on me, projecting on you, collective. It's literally showing the roots. Yeah. This could be of connections, toxic uh, relationships or situationships that were toxic, opposite attracts. They're rats. It's literally showing rats on a wheel. Yeah. These are demonic parasites, collective. It's literally showing demonic parasites. And it's crazy because Medusa picture came out. You know that on my card I have the uh, white check. <clears throat> but this could be of any race. So again, I mentioned witches. This could be a, a Medusa witch, purse priest, that was also projecting. And they are reptilian. They are a demonic reptilian parasite, pretty much. And it's crazy, these both came out. The card that's explaining about Medusa came out along with her picture. So this is many energies and people that's came out here, different story and scenarios that's came out here in my message today. Mm-hmm. Monstrous. Human female. Mm-hmm. With living venomous snakes. You gaze into her eyes and she turn you into stone. These are energies collective. This can uh, pertain to a male or a female. Cursed priest and priestess. These are energies again that are soulless. Their heart is stone. Their heart is cold. They pretty much may die from a heartbreak or just... They're just going to be cold as ice type of energies. Mm -hmm. They could have been throwing death spells and love spells at you collective as well as to me. How I can tell that uh, love spells or death spells been thrown at me. Um, when I feel my heart beat for no reason out of the blue constantly. Mm -hmm. That's when I know a death spell has been thrown at me. They probably was trying to affect your heart collective. I know recently they've been trying to, the energy's been trying to come at me with my health. So definitely collective, I'm telling you to stay up on your spiritual cleansing and hygiene and protection. Mm -hmm. And just continue to take care of your health on a 3D realm the best you can. Because these thirsty, pressed ass, stoneless, cold hearted, rotten, dutty, wicked ass, vamp, succubus, and incubus, trickster, skin shifter, illusionist spirits that has no soul. They're welling souls. They're demonic souls are just desperate. And it calls for desperate measures. And they'll just, they're doing anything to just disturb your peace, your life, your energy. 
Don't give them that satisfaction. Yes, collective, you could be doing something out of the mud. You could be getting things out of the mud as in the analogy of whatever you're creating, a passion project you're working on, just something your your heart is or your mind, spirit, and soul is calling for you to do. Or maybe you're, you're taking a liking in something that makes your heart, fills you with gladness, fills you with joy, fills you with love, fills you with life again. Maybe you're looking at something or tapping into your childlike energies. And people, again, that is disturbia, which is from cursed priest and priestess that were false twin flames, false divine masculines, false divine feminines, false masculine and feminines, that they are all just disturbed, okay? They're distorted and disturbed, are trying to fuck up your journey uh -huh, that you're going on or that you're in. But I literally pulled out a lot of good cards on top of these other disturbed cards the jack-o-lantern your vengeance angels your as um ancestors the goons uh-huh it literally says things that they're doing is backfiring right now as i speak it is backfiring it literally says they're out of time i'm talking about spiritual haters here this battle is beyond the flesh. It's, it's regarding the principalities. This is spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. Battle for your soul is what it comes down to. Is what it comes down to. You're getting something out of the mud. Yes. And at this time, remember that car that came out I, I mentioned? They don't compete where they don't compare. It literally says here, this is a Buddha quote from Got It Out of the Mud. It says, a flower doesn't think of competing with the next flower to it. It just blooms. So collective, continue to, my gosh, continue to at your own pace, at your own time. Find something that just fills you with, with gratitude, fills you with life, fills you with a mission and purpose, and continue to pursue that purpose. Like this horse that's showing on my um, trinkets, and it looked like it's picking up momentum and speed. These are energies that are trying to, and entities that are trying to... Um, Stop your momentum. Stop. Yeah. Stop you from getting into your momentum and picking up speed. It's literally showing the Wooji board. My gosh, Collective is showing the Wooji board. So, yeah, these are energies that are running out of time, that are spiritual haters, that has drunk the damn poison or, the, or they took substance. Uh-huh. They probably are on... Um, yeah, they're probably taking um, psychedelics to do this crap, but they're going down a rabbit hole. It literally showing a rabbit going down the hole <laughs> from using these Wuji boards and doing whatever they're doing. My gosh, it's showing God's time exactly. God's time, God's time. It is God's time when He comes out here. This card comes out. Continue focusing on yourself again and on God's time. And mind your mother effing business is what the next card came out. Mind your business. Just mind your business collective. Why these other energies be sent to purgatory? After the mind your business, the other card came out. Karma. They're going to receive karma because they have no spiritual protection. Again, this could be coming from ex-family, friends, foe, lovers, uh-huh, hoes, 
bros, whatever they are, whoever they are, celebrities, or again, people of low status. Mm, mm, mm. They're going to receive karma because they have no spiritual protection. On the other hand, collective, you have spiritual protection. Because again, vengeance angels came out off with their heads. Your goons. <laughs> they're going to be chopping off heads. Everything they're doing is backfiring. Exactly. They have no spir spiritual protection. These fake priests and priestess, the roots, okay? Whatever that may pertain to, to you. Twin flames, okay? These are distorted, false twin flames. They're going to receive karma. They have no spiritual protection because you're on God's time. The next card that came out after that was Dark Witches. Exactly what I've mentioned in my dreams that I saw the other day. Um, not last night, but the other day. Or I think that was all together. Yeah, these were Dark Witches. That's going to get stitches. I'm telling you, that video down below on my other videos I've been posting previously of the experiences of the underworld, of hell. Okay, we can all talk and say, Oh, they haven't experienced that. Oh, they haven't experienced that. Oh, this is all make believe. This is all a dream. This is all lies until you experience it for yourself. Okay, people share their stories for it's not for play play. People share their stories to warn, people share their stories to to guide people share their stories because it's their testimony it's showing here don't look back these witches and warlocks whatever they are demonic energies okay on a spiritual level okay i'm talking to people that are spiritually inclined i'm talking to people that are spiritually gifted right now if you're not and you're on the other side, you may not understand what I'm talking about. You don't relate, you don't relate. I'm talking to people that can relate. Okay? That is fighting the spiritual warfare battle. Okay? It's saying here, don't look back. No, I'm not looking back. They want you to look back to Collective. Trying to get a Netflix duo with you what the hell i don't think so i don't think so continue to sharpen your iron continue to sharpen your spiritual sword ah <laughs> off with their heads your goon is saying along with your vengeance angels Mm -hmm. These witches and warlocks is going to meet their own demise. Fake, distorted, desperate, thirsty, pressed ass, fake twin flames, male and female, masculine and feminine. <laughs> Don't look back. No, I'm not going to look back because they're full of spiritually or on a 5D as well as 3D STDs. These are tramps that I'm talking about. It's showing the dog that was from on Lady and a Tramp. All they want to do is eat off your plate. All they want to do is harvest from you. Okay, to put food on their plate or just whatever they're trying to put on their plate off of your energy collective. These are tramps, male and female tramps. Is all I got to say. Dutty is ever rotten and dutty. It literally says here, lazy, dutty, and greedy, infectionist, STI, STDs, filthy, chaser, spirits. Ah, hunting. That's all they want. They want to harvest and hunt. They're so hot to trot. Papa was a rolling stone type of energies. These could be of people that were best friends or now they became your ex-friends. Mm -hmm. That is the cons of this lady in a tramp. 
the pros. So they want you to be in nostalgia. They want you to reminisce on what you had. They want you to, again, go through some deja vu. They want you to, again, have nostalgic feelings that is reminding you that they used to be compassionate, that you used to trust them, that they you thought they were loyal, and that they were a friend of perfection. But no, there's more cons than pros with these hobos and bros and hoes that became foes collective. Yeah. I'm talking about people and energies, places and things that thought the grass was green on the other side. Sally, mistaken. The grass was not greener on the other side. Huh. If they were um, a prince in, the, in there, if they know, if they were a prince or they go around with a God complex type of energy or they must have in the past um, been a prince or princess, they have fallen from grace. It's literally showing here the prince of Egypt. They have fallen from grace because it showed a fallen angel. Now they are a cursed priest and priestess. They are a cursed fallen angel. And what they're thinking about is a squirrel trying to get a nut, male or female. It literally shows here, you rock my world. Yeah, that's what they want to do to harvest from you. I don't think so. I don't think so. And you're going to continue rocking your world, yourself, in your own way. But not with them. <laughs> but they are remembering those times. You rock their world. They can't get over that, obviously. Uh-huh. But you're protected, collective. It's literally showing here after that, evil eyes are going blind. Okay, so off with their heads with your goons, because it's God's time, and your vengeance angels came out. Okay, they're going to blind their eyes. Mm -hmm. You are protected, collective, because it's showing again, evil eyes are going blind, and luck, blessings, and prosperity is in your horizons, or is... In your life, in your energy, at this present time and moment, claim this part of the message. Yes, you are protected. So much protection came out here. Again. Wow. And what's going on is this energy is backfiring. Uh-huh. You are a diamond in a rough. Yes, collective. That they didn't appreciate. Mm-hmm. And if they appreciate it, it is too late. What is it? I just heard um, some about a dollar short. That saying in regards to time, but it also regards to money. Yeah, they're trying to either slow your money or they're trying to stop your money. Or they're just trying to affect your energy collective so you don't go make your money that could be something but you are a diamond in a rough yes you are collective i know i am and you have watchers good watchers and of course um of the underworld watchers watching again this is a battle that we're all constantly going through individually whether we talk about it or not Okay, whether we express it or not. Mm -hmm. So that watchers came out after the diamond in the rough. Spirit guides. Thank you. Yes, thank you, spirit guides. So to my, <laughs> to my goons, off with their motherfucking heads. Along with your vengeance angels and spirit guides came out. Yes. Keep it 100. Keep it 100. Keep it a G. Whoa. Don't believe the hype. Or that's what it's all about. It's all about you. 
So you continue, you continue to tell it like it is. Spirit guides came out telling me to tell you to keep it 100. <sighs> My gosh. Wow. Return to sender. Exactly. So it says here, I don't react to negativity energies. I just remove myself. Facts. You return those nasty, dirty energies back to the source and senders. Whoa, collective. After that, it's literally saying death to mortals. My gosh, death to mortals. That's what's going to occur as you continue to do your deep healing and cleanse your energy. Yes, yes, they lack doing their healing. This, these soulless, stone, cold hearted energies, they don't do their healing, they're going down the rabbit hole. They're looking back. They're going to turn into stone like Lot's wife or into salt. If they're worthy of, of being turned into salt, literally, they're going to be turned into stone. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, rats. These are rat energies. They're going to get trapped. They're going to get trapped. This could, uh, this could be pertaining to um, three individuals that are just greedy. Dutty, greedy, son of a bees. They're going to pretty much... <laughs> they're going to be eating rotten cheese. They're going to be caught in the mouse trap. This could be, this could be pertaining to more than three. But it's showing three energies three mouses yeah they like to go off and go after what they felt was greener on the other side energies i'm feeling that likes shiny things this is the shiny en energy syn syndromes man they must stutter because i'm trying to talk these are shiny energy <laughs> lord these are energies that go after shiny tings. My gosh. They have that shiny syndrome. Mm, 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 mm. I couldn't get that out. Ah. They want to make you laugh or they probably look at you as being funny collective. These fallen angels. Vamps. What else came out? Priests. Curse and, and, and um, priestess. Squirrels trying to get a nut, distorted and demonic, and my gosh, thirst impressed. Mm hmm. Witches and warlocks. Warlocks literally came out here. Mm hmm. Yeah, they want to make you laugh, or they probably feel that you're funny, collective, or I'm funny, but they want to make you laugh, throw on that charm. It's literally showing here, Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. Mm -hmm. It's showing music. They probably know you're musically inclined or they want to take you out. If not, the Netflix and chill movie situation or scenario is not going to work. They want to take you out to enjoy some music and make you laugh. But I don't think so. <laughs> Yes, what came out after that? These are mythical fox. These are the fox energies and spirits. Okay. This is a man eater. Oh, here he come. Or she come. Watch out. Watch out for she chews you up. These are energies that are man eaters. They go after your, what is it? Your liver. Mm-hmm. They go after your heart and your liver. And this could be of a man eater or a woman eater. My gosh, collective. It says here in some myth, foxes are wise and benevolent. In others, they are connected to fire and the sun. So I could be referring to fire signs. It says sometimes fox or water signs, because water came out here, of pressed and thirsty. This could be of all um, zodiac signs. 
and of elements because earth came out here too and air yeah all the elements my gosh collective sometimes fox is a minor and clever spirit who helps people and animals in need on other hand fox energies and spirits punish those who are arrogant and sometimes fox is a bad omen you could be seeing foxes as an omen or um as a you like you must like eat almonds but as an omen is what i meant to say these are greedy and mean-spirited thieves so these are greedy mean-spirited energies that are man and woman eaters and warlocks came out after that my gosh collective so witches and warlocks like i said that was giving <laughs> the puss persuasion that was sweet and it became sour rotten to the core showing fruits that are rotten to the core of women parts sour false karmic toxic as ever it says toxic tf mm. this is talking about three party situations oh my gosh collective what came out after the false karmic toxic as ever Faux fox. I'm done. <laughs> First the definition came out and now the picture came out of the fox spirit. The Kensu. Whoa. Collective. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. They feed off the males. They feed off the mouths. It literally says here, yeah, they go after the heart and liver. They cause illness and death to men. Heart and liver. So I could be also referring to another scenario of energies I'm feeling. Okay. Maybe the distorted man was a false twin flame to somebody. Or just a false masculine to somebody that is a dark warlock. They attract fox spirit, witches, whores, and what is it? Hmm, harlots. They attract energies like that of the opposite sex. False princesses, again, priestess. My gosh. And that turns their heart even more colder as stone, heavy as stone. They are squirrels trying to get a nut. It literally said Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he lay his hat was his home. But it said death to mortals. Because that song talks about when he dies, all he was left is alone. These energies are going to become well in souls and predatory. They keep fucking with you, collective and me. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, calling all outcasts. Can my real ones please stand up? Yes, we're calling all the real black sheep, outcasts, energies, spirits, souls that are angelic beings, that are light workers that are black sheep that are rebels i'm calling on y'all right now can y'all please stand up <laughs> i could just see all of y'all standing up with your spiritual armor on and your sword whoa whoa that is beautiful what i just saw in my in my vision yes collective y'all are rich spirits Y'all are rich spirits that can be pertaining to males and females. You are rich spirits. And these energies know. They know that you are a rich spirit. They know that you're going to continue fighting your battles and be victorious. They know you're going to continue to stay persevere or have perseverance. They know you're going to continue to endure. Mm-hmm. 
They know that you go through and you go through a lot of things in your life. But a, a scripture just came to me. Weeping may endure throughout the night, but joy comes in the morning. Light. So you're going to continue to cry your tears and wipe them off and continue to stand and move forward. Because it literally showed the jack-o'-lantern. You are protected and you're going to continue to strive. Whether you're wounded or not, you're going to continue to fight and continue moving forward. And you're going to eat up that motherfucking energy for breakfast, dinner, and lunch. Exactly. My gosh. Mm, mm, mm. It says death to mortals. That's what's going to happen to energies. Again, they keep messing with me and you. They're going to be laid to rest. It says rest in peace. Whoa. And these are energies that were doing some crossroads shit. They thought they are on supernatural movies going to the crossroads. Mm, mm, mm. I just heard, carry on my way to sun. There will peace, there will be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. My gosh. I'm telling you, off with their heads with these energies. Off, to, well, off with their heads with your goons and with your spirit guides and with your vengeance angels. Hmm? Mm -hmm. These are energies that are doing or have done grave magic. They are conjuring up entities, especially incubus and succubus energies that are trickster sh spirits, skin shifters. They are a, pa a part of the occult groups or of covens and they do ceremonies. And you know celebrities do that too. My gosh. So these are energies that um, if you are spiritually inclined collective, you are picking up on a bigger type of energy and scale. Because mm -hmm. it's showing the planets here from the sun. Mm -hmm. It's showing the whole galaxy here. We are all part of the galaxy, but this is also of energies that uh, you're picking up all over from above and beyond. You could be. I'm talking about the spiritual inclined ones. Yeah, they're poison. P -p 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 poison is showing an uh, ass apple. An apple that has an ass, but a snake's coming out of it. That snake could be representing a parasite. So be careful on the fruits you're eating, let alone the sweetness from nasty, wicked people are trying to show you with other intentions or motives behind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, redemption's going to be on their mind when they think about you, collective. You probably have people in their fills, and that's why you're filling their energy. <clears throat> mm -hmm. They know you are a rich spirit. They know you're a diamond in the rough. And again, if they, confirmation, if they didn't realize that now and they're realizing it, they didn't realize that before and they're realizing it now, again, it's too late, baby. It's too late. Yeah, these are pimp poisons and peat energies. These are energies that likes to go out, party, drink, pop cherries. These are poison frogs. Bite off the poison apples, pop peaches, cherries, whatever. Mm-hmm. Grapes, whatever. Yeah, these are goblins. My gosh, collective. That came right after the pimp poison peats and petris. <laughs> My gosh. My gosh. These are goblins. That's what they are. Goblin energies. Whoa, anti 
anti bros and hobos came out and hoes came out after the pimp poison and peeps and pimp petrus off with the uh what's your goblins with anti hobo hobo bros and hoes yeah that's what they are that was a mouthful but that's what they are but it says again what's your goblins to your goons your goons is gonna be like off with their hands these are part-time lovers these are part-time lovers wow it literally says upside down don't believe the hype don't 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 believe the hype i'm gonna leave that upside down you're not believing the hype collective i sure as hell not believing in the hype death is going to be happening to these mortals again that keeps messing with your spiritual being your spiritual energy and aura death to mortals yeah these were creepy crawlers these were creep squad energies that are online dating serial dating these are creepers it's just showing backwards like upside down of cereal in a bowl it says serial dating creep squad nah upside down you're not believing in these creep serial dating cheater creepers whatever energies and people you're not believing in it you're not believing in the hype you're not falling for it no more collective i hope not i sure as hell is not because you are an angelic killer you are an angelic being and a person and a rich spirit Again, that is here for a purpose and mission. And if you don't know, you're you're searching and looking and finding. Continue to search. Continue to find. Continue to find and search within yourself so you know who you are. Because if you don't, these are the energies that will make you become and feel full of disturbia. So you don't find out who you are and what you are. And your purpose here on this earth. Mm, mm, mm. For you to fulfill for yourself. My gosh. That song really, really fits the message today. So I'm going to just keep it and keep it right here, Collective. I'm going to stop here in regards to my cards and this message, my dreams and downloads. If you can relate, you know what I mean? This was a warning, you know, to just stay, you know what I mean, on your toes, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, definitely spiritually, and to not falter, but to be wise, collective. Thank you so much uh, for tapping in, listening. If this was encouraging, if this was full of guidance, and um, this will help you to continue moving forward in your own authentic energy no one else's in your own creativity and no one else's on your mission and purpose and no one else's give me thumbs up like subscribe and share this message so it can transform not only me you but other people's lives until next time thank you so much this is ross the gal palm street tarot take care and peace don't forget to like subscribe and share this message again hit that notification button so you know when i drop and you don't miss out on anything all right collective take care and peace